Aries. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I'm going to be doing your May 2021 love reading. Happy birthday. Those of you that are celebrating birthdays, I hope you have a beautiful, blessed, happy birthday. Crystal Visions. There's no better deck than this one for a love reading. Those of you that have recently subscribed, truly welcome. Thank you guys so very much. You know, if you'd like to follow me on Facebook, I go Facebook Live every, um, well, now it's going to be Fridays. Um, love to have you guys there. Aries. You actually feel really, really good. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Hermit. Wow. Wheel of Fortune. Queen of Wands. Could be you. Wow. Ace of Pentacles. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Nine of Wands. Wow. I, you know, Leo here. Leo, you could be dealing with a Leo. Knight of Wands. The High Priestess. Ten of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. Well, Death. This could have something to do, you know, with the Scorpio, definitely dealing with a Scorpio. Or this could represent endings, a new beginning, a big transformation where things are going to... There's a really a big transformation where things aren't going to be as they were before. You know, looking at this reading, I do see a big decision is needed. You do want some kind of change in your love life. Your energy, I mean, literally coming right through. You know, this could be you or it could be someone that you're involved with. Your partner, spouse, this could even be an ex or someone new coming into your life. Hermit sign of Virgo, you know, there is a lot of thinking going on. And and you also have the Wheel of Fortune here. Like, I was going to say that right during the reading. Like, this is definitely spiritually guided. This is really something that is meant to be, that's definitely going to take place. And some of you are definitely looking to make change, especially, too, with death as the overall energy. You know, you could be even contemplating ending a relationship. I feel like if you're if you're leaving a relationship, it's either because you're no longer happy or you have someone else in mind. Because I don't feel like some of you are leaving, you know, just because it's 
because there's there's someone else you're ending you're ending something because you want some something new I do think with the hermit you are doing a lot of soul searching but but there is a lot of movement and things changing in your love life Aries that are definitely meant to be those of you that are coupled and, you know, you're not thinking of leaving, then it is a lot of soul searching either with you or the person that you're dealing with. You could be thinking about movement within the relationship, moving to a higher level of commitment. I just feel like someone is doing a lot of soul searching, thinking, trying to realize the truth about this change on, on, on your mind. You know, you know, definitely ready for, for big change. I mean, definitely Knight of Wands. Definitely, I mean, getting ready. This is all you. Getting ready to move forward. This exciting change. Excited to move forward. And, you know, this, per this person is not giving up either. They're not, they're not backing down until they get what they want. And I do feel like it's you. You know, it is, it's in line with your energy, fiery, passionate, energetic self, self-confidence. Definitely not shy. You're a go-getter type of a person. I do, I do. I feel strongly, Aries, that this, there is someone you really want. And you're absolutely not giving up on this person. You do. You have this solid, stable, grounded new beginning. I do feel like the person that you're dealing with is maybe holding back a little bit. You know, from you with the hermit, they could be doing all of this soul searching, thinking about change, movement within your relationship, Ace of Pentacles. There's a new beginning. For those of you that are single... It could be a new relationship. It could be a new beginning with your existing relationship. Be just beautiful new new blessings. New beginnings. I mean, it really is beautiful, Aries. You know, with the Nine of Wands, the Hermit. Someone is just not sure. You know, they don't know if they want this new beginning. You're like all determined. You want to see this relationship start moving forward. You know, you might want to, you know, move in. You know, you might want them to move in with you. But you're not giving up. Like, you don't want to walk away from this person. Queen of Cups, I do feel like a water sign is definitely very important. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Maybe you have that in your chart, your moon, or your rising. Very important to those of you that are single. You know, this could be someone new with the Ten of Pentacles. Marriage, commitment. You know, you're kind of doing the same there as you are here. With the Ten of Cups. Marriage, commitment. Long-term relationship. You're... You're being told, I do, you're being told, you know, to like, you're, to trust your intuition, you know, especially with the hermit under, you know, it's under line with the hermit. Oh, you know, trust your intuition, go with your instincts. For some of you, I definitely feel like, you know, like you don't want to let go of someone. I definitely feel for some of you. You've already met this person, you're coupled to them, or you're dating them, but you're absolutely excited and have high hopes for this relationship. You want this relationship to move forward. I feel like you're dealing with someone that is being cautious. They're very much on guard, but, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, they're, they're just not sure about the change in your relationship. 
You need you do need to trust your intuition. Definitely. Alright. Um, these are the after tarot. Future future predictions. What comes next? Wow, Page of Cups. King of Wands. I mean, so some of definitely some of you men. Oh, and the Seven of Swords. I mean, your energy is really strong here. Unless you're coupled to another fire sign with the Page of Cups. Someone really wants to open up. Like, vice, you know, either you want to tell them or they want to tell you that they still love you. Again, you know, your overall energy is death. An ending and a new beginning. Huge transformation. There definitely could be some sort of, de you know, deceit here. You know what? I know I've been all over the place with this reading here, but I just feel some... Someone is not so ready to move forward. Is not so excited to move forward with more of a commitment, a long-term relationship. But definitely, someone is being cautious, doing a lot of thinking, soul-searching. You know, and you know, this person definitely is wonder, is worried if it's a trap, male or female, doesn't matter. You know. Is it a trap? Is you know? Is it a risk? You could be wondering, should I take this risk? You know, you really do want a relationship with this person, but you want some some more of a commitment. Like, I'm gonna, I need, I'm gonna. Um, I'm going to clarify this Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords. Well, that fell right out. Nine of Swords. I swear, you know, it really is like agonizing over someone. Agonizing over someone. Someone could be agonizing over you. You know, whatever I say, it could be either you or the other person. And the hermit, you know, Santa Virgo, they keep, you know, thinking about you, but they're just not sure if they want to go back. Like, they don't know. They don't know if they want to have a relationship with you, but yet there are definitely still, they're definitely still thinking about you big time, obsessing over you. Nine of Swords, I feel like you're torturing yourself. Someone could be telling you something, you know, but they're really thinking and feeling something else. Definitely an interesting reading, but no doubt Aries... There is absolutely a new beginning that's meant to be. Not everybody pulls the, the wheel of fortune. Karma, destiny, things happening at the precise moment in time that they're meant to happen.
someone who's definitely thinking, fearing, feeling something else. Interesting reading. It really is. But Aries, you're sitting right next to love, too. It could be a king of wands. Or it's your partner, your spouse. That has fire in your chart. It'll be fine. It really will. You know, especially if you have air in your chart. You definitely need to get out of your head. All right, Aries. I hope you guys have a wonderful month. And I will see you guys soon. Take care.